Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Charmin. I post a ton of mineral sunscreen reviews on my channel because it's really difficult to find ones that don't leave a cast on my dark skin. I also post um, things that have been helping me with my journey to get rid of my melasma and hyperpigmentation. So if this is content that interests you, then please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. So I've gotten a couple of requests to review the new Australian Gold BB Creams. Um, so today I will be reviewing the Australian Gold BB Cream in the shade Rich to Deep. Now unfortunately, I could not find the medium to tan color anywhere. I've been, I, I was looking for that everywhere and they didn't have it on Amazon, they didn't have it on, on Ulta. So it's out of stock everywhere, so I'm just going to be trying the Rich to Deep today and then I will do a follow-up when I find the medium to tan on my skin. So if you want to see how this looks on my skin, then stick around. A couple of pointers about this sunscreen. This is a mineral-only sunscreen. Here is some more information about the sunscreen, how much it costs me, and what the active ingredients are. Uh, it is pretty much the original formula, just in a darker tint. Um, and if you watched my original Australian Gold you know, tinted sunscreen review, um, you know that I didn't really like it very much. It left a really bad um, tint. It, re it left a really bad white cast on my skin. But I think the worst part about it was that the undertone of the tint was like a peachy undertone. Um, and it was very cool. So it did not look good on my skin because I have a yellow undertone. So, but I have, um, you know, worn it like two to three times. I'm not really a fan of this, to be honest. I like the formula again, but even though this is like a darker shade, it actually looks um, really unflattering on my skin tone because it has the same issue as the original one, which is that it is a very cool undertone and it doesn't look good on my skin because I have a very warm undertone. So I'll leave a picture here of me um, wearing it in uh, like with a flash, with the flash on and I took a picture of it and you'll obviously also see the demo um, on my skin tone. So um, I've got my handy dandy thingy majiggy here. Um, so I'm going to fill this up and show you all what it looks like on my skin tone. It's how much it is if I fill it up all the way. Again, this is one fourth uh, teaspoon. This is how much sunscreen you're supposed to be using. So as you can see, like the color is, I mean, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's very, very cool toned. So it's definitely darker than my skin tone, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Really, it's kind of a shame because I really do like the formula for this um, sunscreen. It doesn't leave my skin oily, it dries down to a, a matte, but the shades are just so bad. I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, it's... That's a really bad shame because I really do like the formula a lot and okay so it's shiny right now but it so it's shiny right now but it becomes matte in a couple of minutes it gets absorbed in, into my skin and it's totally matte but um, you know this is what it looks like obviously it's too dark for my skin but y you can even see it on camera it's very very cool toned it doesn't match like my undertone like you can see my neck is very yellow um and 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 like warm toned and then whereas my face it's very like just it it looks really bad um but the coats uh sunscreen that i use that also um kind of oxidizes on me and this is the color that it gives me once it oxidizes but that is so much more flattering still because the undertone is not as cool so I think that, you know, I would recommend this sunscreen if you have an oily skin type, 
this shade particularly if you are darker skinned and you have a cool um, undertone. If you have a yellow undertone and you're darker than me, I would not recommend this particular shade or actually any of the shades because they all are cool undertones. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a shame because I really do like this. I really do like this sunscreen, but it just it looks so unflattering on me. I don't know. It's let me know what you guys think because I feel like I, I don't know on camera it looks better than it does in real life. Um, here's the picture again of me with the flash on, and I took the picture after I'd worn it like you know a few hours. So yeah. And the worst part about it is like when I reapply it, it becomes even um, more muddy looking. So it looks even more odd um, than it did when I first applied it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of this. Again, so if you have a darker skin type, obviously, um, and if you have cool undertones, then I think this would be a good sunscreen for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend any of the shades in the range. I will still try out the medium to tan shade just because um, I know a lot of people are like wondering what that looks like on dark skin. But um, because it's still not in stock, um, I'll, you know, I'll have to try it out when it returns back in stock basically. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm, again, I'm just really sad because this is like three fluid ounces and it cost me, I think, $13. So this is a really good deal for sunscreen, but it just looks so unflattering um, for my skin tone. I wouldn't purchase it again. So if you enjoyed this review and demo, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.